Lord, help, help. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be talking about some of the cheap bikinis that I have bought that are super cute. So I wanted to do this video because I love swimsuits and swimsuits can get very, very, very expensive and they really don't need to be. I definitely have a lot of really expensive swimsuits that you can tell the quality are great and that I love, but there are also a lot of swimsuits I have that are not nearly as expensive and honestly almost as good. So going to go through a few of those today. I have five different suits from a variety of different brands that are completely within budget. So some of these range from being $6 a piece up to around 33 is the max. So as you can tell, pretty affordable swimwear not like some of the more expensive brands. So I'm going to show you the positives, some of the negatives, and a bunch of different types of bikinis. Okay, you guys, so this first suit is actually from Target, believe it or not. I love this suit. It is extremely supportive. If you have a larger chest, there is underwire underneath here, which is why I really like this suit. I actually wore this to the Bahamas. We were doing a lot of jumping, a lot of swimming not just laying out on the beach. And so something like this was awesome because I knew that I was able to actually move in it. So I really like this pattern. Like I said, really supportive and super comfortable. This one starts at about $30 for the top. So this is going to be one of the more expensive bikinis. Like I said, still totally affordable. So I love the style. The bottoms that go with it are really cute as well. One thing I will say with a little bit of cheaper bottoms is sometimes it rolls over. These are actually reversible. So they're blue on this side. So if they do roll a little bit, you see the blue, which doesn't bother me, but just a note on the suit. And I like this as well because it's really supported from the back. So you have the crisscross pattern there. You can pull it tighter so that if you feel like this is loose in the front here, you can pull it tighter through the back. These are obviously a cheekier style bottom. Um, I like these as well. They don't feel like they're going to fall off. They feel pretty firm and like they're going to stay together. I think my hair <laughs> is stuck. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this next suit is also from Target Exhilaration brand. I love this one as well. It's crochet, so it's really cute. Um, the bottoms fit really nice as well. I like them a little bit higher waisted here. I really like this top. It's definitely not nearly as supportive as the other top, but really cute. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out of it at all. I love the style. I love the color and the bottoms and these ones are a little cheeky as well, like you can see. They do have other brands that are not as cheeky. This one in particular is. The suit is a little bit on the smaller side, um, but overall, no real complaints. I would say it's firm, it's snug. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out if I were to do something a little bit more active. So I definitely like this suit a lot. This suit is also in the $30 range. I will say that in comparison to this versus the other one, I would be more willing to pay $30 for the other suit because it holds better. It's a little bit more of a structured suit and I think it's made a little bit better. So in terms of if you are on a budget and you're looking for something that is a really good quality suit, I think the prior suit is going to last a little bit longer. This has definitely started to fray just a little bit, but overall I think it's held up pretty well for the price. All right, you guys, so moving on to H&M. This top and bottom are both from H&M and the top was $13 and the bottoms were $6. So this is in a slightly lower range than the Target brand. I love this suit. You can definitely tell that the quality isn't quite there. It's pretty thin, but honestly, other than that, I think the suit is great. It's really flattering. I like this a lot because it's a little bit more conservative. I feel like you can really wear it anywhere. This is sort of my go-to family style suit. I think it's really flattering. It, like you can see, has a little bit more coverage from behind as well. Really cute. The one concern is the straps here. So they can come undone, which can be a problem if you're jumping into the water or you're swimming. So if you're planning on getting caught on anything accidentally, like if there's rocks in the water, things like that, a suit like this is not going to be as effective as maybe one of the other ones without strings. But overall, 
I love this suit. I think it is really flattering and I love the colors. So you can get this at H&M, like I said, for around $20. Thread top is also from H&M. And as you can see, I did not buy the matching bottoms. I didn't love them. So the top itself was $9, which I presume means the bottoms were probably in that range or a little bit less. So as you can see, these are getting cheaper and cheaper. And one thing I noticed with some of the cheaper swimsuits, usually you can see the lining of the pads. This one isn't particularly bad. I actually do like this suit. It's pretty flattering and I feel like it fits well. As you can see from the back, it has a crisscross as well. And these are my swim bottoms that I was wearing with the bikini before. You can see <laughs> the blue as well underneath. They're reversible, but like I said, with a cheaper suit, sometimes you see the fold over there. So in terms of this top, I do like it. I like the pattern. I think it is supportive, but like I said, sometimes you can see the pad lining, but for $9, I will take it. This swim top is from Hollister and I believe is around $18 to $19. I actually love this top. I love the material. It's actually pretty thick for the price, so I feel like I'm supported. I feel like there is no chance of any slippage. It's one of my go-to tops on a daily basis. Definitely not as supportive as the Target top, but it's a different style top. So for a triangle bikini, I think it fits really nicely. It ties up at the top here, so you can see, so you can make it tighter if you need to. These bottoms are actually not what came with the suit. These are from Target as well. So I just matched these together. I believe these bottoms were probably with a set that was around $30. So I would say maybe 10 to 12 in terms of if you were to buy them separately. As you can see, for the cheetah from the back it clasps which i like so you have the clasp as well as the tie so if it isn't fitting right you can adjust it to your body shape so these bottoms as you can see are full coverage i love these if i am going somewhere jumping into the water like i said being a little bit more active obviously not going to get the tan line you're looking for but they're super super comfortable i really like a high-waisted bottom as well especially if you are bulking <laughs> me right now it holds in just a little bit more if you're not feeling as comfortable in your skin as well it's a good way to kind of hold everything in make you feel comfortable so i love this top like i said from h&m it's around 18 or so dollars and definitely worth the price to me I think out of all of the swimwear that I tried on today, this bikini from Hollister is definitely my personal favorite in terms of style, in terms of look, and in terms of price. So this would be my everyday go-to for swimwear that is a little bit more on the affordable side. Alternatively, if I'm looking for function, this is absolutely my go-to, the one from Target. I think this swimsuit is awesome, especially for the price. You are definitely going to be able to do all sorts of activities in this. I have gone jet skiing, snorkeling, you name it. This is definitely my go-to for that as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see any other brands, please put those in the comments below. Or if you have any questions whatsoever about the styles of swimsuits that I put here, if you wanna see different styles of swimsuits, let me know. I am starting with everything that I own currently and trying to show you some of the best variations in terms of some expensive suits as I've done in a previous video, as well as some of the more affordable suits because it just gives a range so that you can kind of pick and choose. Like I said, if there's anything that you want to see, different brands, different styles, I am more than happy to do so, so please put them below. Some of these are not still for sale as I've had them for a long time. I am going to put similar suits below so that you can pick and choose. If you have any particular questions though, I'm more than happy to answer them. Hopefully this was helpful and you found some different brands that potentially have some suits that you like that aren't going to break the bank. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video.